Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me there's an island inhabited by nothing but beautiful women? Uh, how many big Haitian days I got left? <laughs> Wonder Woman up next. Let's go. Wonder Woman. Dun, 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 dun. You remember the old Wonder Woman? That was the music from the TV show when she was spinning around. Never mind. <laughs> What's up, y'all? You are now rocking with Brian's Cosigns. I am Brian Gunn. Wonder Woman, the highly anticipated and long overdue feature film stars Gal Gadot and Chris Pine. Gadot plays Diana princess of the Amazons and half goddess, although she doesn't know that. She's raised on the island of the Mascara, which is an island, invisible island, totally inhabited by nothing but women. Good Lord. So she's never seen a man before. That is until Steve Trevor, played by Pine, crashes near the island. She saves him. He tells her what's going on in the real world, and he really needs some help, which prompts Diana to leave this well-secluded island and travel there to help him out. Girl, you sure you still want to do this? The DC Extended Universe had a lot riding on this movie because many people felt that Batman vs. Superman, along with Suicide Squad, were eh, average at best and the franchise was in danger of being marooned on lame island <laughs> so what the wonder woman do man put that franchise on his back and and carried it a hundred yards to the touchdown Gadot played the hell out of wonder woman Gadot's role called for diana to be strong yet naive caring but aggressive you have to remember, she is a fierce warrior with a take no prisoner attitude, then she leaves her comfort zone and sees society for what it really is. And her naivete makes her vulnerable. And as you watch that on screen, it reminds you of how you were as a child growing up and having your parents shield you from certain things, then finding out the harsh reality of the truth. Her acting prowess coupled with the physicality of her role is remarkable. I'm so glad that they cast Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Chris Pine is the perfect counterpart to Gal Gadot. This dude has <laughs> impeccable comedic timing. They almost work off of each other as a comedy team. But when it's time for him to get serious, his performance is that of a guy who's seen much despair, but there's a glimmer of hope that he can make a difference. Both characters have inner conflict and their, their character arcs are amazing. Man, listen. Wonder Woman is one of the few summer blockbusters that has an intelligent plot as well as a, a heartfelt subplot. Shout out to director Patty Jenkins for that. Matter of fact, when the action dies down, you won't really care because the dialogue and storyline is so ardent. But there is a lot of action. Now, Wonder Woman didn't get a lot of chance to shine in Batman vs. Superman because basically it wasn't her movie. But in this one, Wonder Woman is a damn man, all right? The CGI coupled with the uh, amazing fight scenes make it clear that if you pick a fight with Wonder Woman, you gonna get your ass beat. Simple as that. <laughs> Another thing that makes this movie stand out is the wardrobe and the cinematography. Oh man, the mascara is breathtaking. It's the kind of spot that you would waste all your sick days on, let me tell you. Also, what I like about Wonder Woman is that this movie isn't afraid to take on social inequality. 
the cast is well diverse. Matter of fact, Wonder Woman's partners, um, I think there are three of them, and all of them come from a, a, a diverse background, and they all have their inner problems as well. And Diana finds this out because, you know, she was secluded, so she doesn't know about, you know, race and class and all of that. There's a scene that takes this on, it takes it head on, and it's a cringeworthy moment, but I loved it. And I loved the, the, the producers because of this. Having said all of that, Wonder Woman is not without its flaws. Eh. At times, Wonder Woman suffers from what I refer to as Michael Bay Syndrome. Here's what I mean. There's a lot of slow motion action scenes. You don't need all of that. Just let the scenes play out. We get it. Also, there's a scene in which Wonder Woman sees all this doom and gloom and it's supposed to be a defining moment and it could have been like the best inspiring moment of the film, but instead it comes off as cheesy. I mean like Cheesecake Factory cheesy. You know, the action afterward makes up for it, but I just think if they would have tweaked that scene a little bit, man, it would have been superior. Yeah, but listen, those two flaws are minor, all right? This movie is inspiring as well as entertaining. And, you know, some summer blockbusters are meant to be seen. And then there are those that are meant to be felt. And I call Wonder Woman the Mary J. Blige of summer blockbuster films because, yo, you gonna feel this one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, I, I, I love everything about this movie. Um, it puts a heroine at the top. The cast is diverse and the lead is, is Israeli, which I loved. Having said all of that, man, I am co-signing Wonder Woman to the fullest. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Dun, 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 dun. There it is, folks. Wonder Woman. Have you seen it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Put your comments down south. Let me check them out. And as always, take your words to the movies. <laughs> All right. Brian's co-signs. Wonder Woman. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm.